G'day, I'm Clive and welcome to CDP Outdoors. Today's video is about the Ruben E6 EDC Mini Flashlight. Okay, I'm going to be honest and upfront, this was sent out to me. They asked me to use it and then make an honest review. They haven't told me what to say, what I can say, what I can't say. Just be honest. And on top of that, they also sent a link which I'm putting down in the description box for you to go down to if you're interested in buying one. You'll get a discount with that link. I don't make any money by uh, making this video. I don't get any commission. All I got was this sent to me to use and make the review. Now, I've been using this for about three months now. So it's not a matter of just grabbing it, running outside, turning it on, coming in saying this is what I think. I've actually used it and I've used it at least once a week. I've spent time out making reviews out in the bush uh, on the Bibbulmun track at the campsites and I've been pretty impressed with it. But before we go any further on that, I'll just go through the specs of it or the bits about it and then I'll give you my honest opinion at the end. The bodywork, believe me, it's, it's nice. I do like it. It's just that it's only a little about three, three and a half inches, I think. But it just feels the way it's shaped with your belt clip there, holding your finger underneath, it's positioned. The belt clip's on the bottom and then the actual button to turn it on and off is on top. So you are getting that your finger on the belt clip, which is with the curve and it sits nice, and then there's the button. So even like that, I'm able to turn it on and off with ease. Some torches and flashlights you get, so you're having to hold it in this configuration, more than one finger, and then press the button, or else it's bobbing all over the place. But this is like it's been balanced. Like I said, lights on, off, on, off. So that, with the initial design of it, the way it's been set up, works very well. It came with a lany lanyard, which I put on, because I don't want to lose it. It's got a little battery on the inside, and it is, let's see which one came with it. I know, I'll, I'll get it out and show you. It untwists from the bottom. We have a, a little rubber o-ring around here, and it comes with two spare. And this is a 920 milliamp air, uh, 3.4 WH, is that, and then 14500, and then 3.7. Yeah, 5 volt, 1 amp charging, going to USB C. And I think there's the actual make, what is it they've got here? 14500 Leon battery. Now, so all the specky bits like this or electronics I don't know the ins and outs but I know what I find works so you'll have to excuse me being a bit dumb when it comes down to all the what this is and what that is now it's a rechargeable battery and it's not the normal ones you get where you plug the charger into the bottom or into the side of the actual flashlight itself the charger is the battery there's your little USB C port at the top there so you plug your cable directly into that it's the same size as a double A battery but I've got a box here I've kept for now and it comes with a little USB to USB C cable just a small one but big enough to go from your charger to the battery now, I'm going to order a second one of these, so I've got a spare ready charge, so for any reason 
if it runs out when I'm using it at night, I can swap it over and put this one on charge in my pack connected to one of the power banks. Let's put that back in there. Now, the specs I'm going to give you, which are on the box, if you just use a normal uh, AA battery, one, you won't get the same brightness and you won't get the same length of time before it runs out. So on the back here, we've got all the little specky bits. And this is what they say. They're on, let's start from the bottom. There's an SOS on it. So if I double press that, and then double press it again, there's the SOS. And that is at 100 lumens. And they have a strobe. Turn it back on. And the strobe is 800 lumens. Then you've got your low light, which is 10 lumens and will last up to 34 hours. Then you've got the medium which is 100 lumens and will last up to four hours. And then the final one, the high, sorry, reflection just got me off the camera of my eyes, is 900 lumens and will last up to one hour. Now, all these readings are, I think they've just done them in the lab or something in a controlled environment. So with the weather, if it's colder, I don't think it's going to last as long as most batteries in the cold they lose their charge and they just don't work as well uh, if it gets too hot again that could make a difference with the uh, hours or minutes okay now yeah no, normal batteries are way way less a lot less uh, this is here on the high I'll only give you a maximum of 350 lumens yeah between 350 and 170 last in one minute or plus 1.2 hours I don't know ah uh, no I don't know what that means but yeah you're not gonna get very much medium it uh, will give you 100 lumens and last three hours instead of four low will be 10 and only last 32 hours so it's not much difference between the actual, I think it's just the uh, the on the high. When you got the actual, was it fourteen five hundred battery gives you nine hundred lumens, and with just a normal battery, it'll give you between one seventy and three fifty lumens. So it's not too bad. I'm quite surprised I didn't actually look at that properly. Distance when you got it on full. It'll light the beam goes to 410 I think it is yes yeah, about 410 meters yeah it is waterproof they got here uh, well at 1.5 meters for dropping underwater for one hour weighs 50 grams which is 1.76 ounces without the battery Length is 87 millimeters by 30, which is 3.43 by 1.8. So I wasn't far off when I said about three and a half inches. And the button here, when you press that, it'll light up. At the moment, it's lighting up blue. So that's telling me it's fully charged. And let's we'll see here, I think it's between. Let's get the paperwork, best way of doing it. Yeah, that's from 90% to 100%. That'll stay as a solid blue. And between 40 and 90%, it will drop down to. A, uh, it shows a picture of a smaller blue, but I think it's just half of it will light up. And then between 15 and 40 percent it'll be full red w 
and from 0 to 15 it'll be just like a half of it lit up in red so you know how much power's left in it now over the three months the battery in it I've only charged once uh, and then the blue light only went to the uh, half so it was about the oh, between 40 and 90 percent left and that's using it at least once a week going out and probably using it for two or three hours at a time so the battery life is good on it that's that's a big positive like i said the design earlier is a positive somebody calls it a steel giant i'm not sure but the actual body is made out of an aluminium so it's not too heavy and you've got the belt clip here so you can clip it onto your belt now there's one thing i wish they'd done with this is give you the option to turn it around so you can fit it on the peak of your baseball cap but that's the only negative i've found the brightness like i said it is good i, I do like it i'll put a little clip in i did not long ago look out with the ruben e6 edc torch Uh, at the moment this is on low let's get close to something uh, I'm about 10 meters away the grass tree so this is on low for press and hold that's medium and now press and hold and that's high <laughs> it's not fantastic If I double click it, it goes into strobe, and if I double click again, it goes into SOS. And click it once, and it goes back to the last setting. And that's what you can do with this one. There's low, and what you've got to do is just press it and hold it for about a second. It goes up to one to medium, press and hold for another second, goes up to high and turn it off. Now when I turn it back on it'll be straight to high, the last one you used. Press and hold for a second and we're back to low. Now let's go to the bit of what do I think. The quality of this, just looking at it and feeling it, is great quality. There's nothing more than I can say apart from I like it. If they hadn't sent me this out and tested it and I'd borrowed it off somebody else, I'd go and buy one personally. And like I said earlier, there's a link down in the description box with a discount. I don't make any money out of this, making this video or selling any of these, but you get a discount when you click on that link. But yeah, there's not much more, like I said, to say apart from I like it. Now, if you've enjoyed the video and you haven't subscribed yet, please go down below and click on the subscribe button. Click on the notification bell next to it and select all. And by selecting all, that means you'll get a um, notification of all future videos coming up. My brain went blank for a sh uh, short period then. And if you are already a subscriber, again, I thank you very much. And remember, thumbs up, like the video.